Let's go. to go yay at least we have these and these so far and these always a positive side you're gonna help too you gonna help too you little cutie <laughs> we are about to go and clean up this corn into all the other Refill time. I'm just gonna empty that. Maybe in a while. But we're doing good. Throughout summer, every week, we have two different girls that get together and have summer school with the kids ages 5 to 12, I believe. This week, it is my turn together with my cousin Candace. She is my partner this year. We have different partners every year. It's basically looking after them while their mothers are at work. We do odd and end jobs with them just to keep them busy. We have fun. We play. It is only a morning. We only do it till lunchtime and then we go to work the rest of the day. We call it um, Deanna Schuel, which means girls' school. So Yeah. 
it again. <laughs> Anyways, I'm so happy. But hopefully, you can hear me. Um, what did I want to say? Today at, I actually didn't get any footage of canning. Oh my. I actually didn't get any footage of canning corn. I hope you can hear me. The kids went for lunch at 11.15 and by then they were already done with doing corn. They started doing corn at 8.30 and they were already done at quarter after 11. And we need a lot of corn, so. But it, it never takes us longer. Then we also made dill pickles and there's one other thing, applesauce. It's 1.49, I got home about half an hour ago, so maybe a little bit after one is when we were done downstairs. Welcome to my house. The door is always open. Literally, literally. <laughs> Quickly, randomly jumping in here to answer a few questions. Question number one, at what age does a girl start cooking for the community? We start cooking at 17 and who trains her? I'm sure at home she learns much from her mother, but to cook in a big kitchen is much different. Yes, that's true. For a lot of girls, their mothers start teaching them at home. When a girl is 17 and she has to start cooking, a person, her partner who is cooking with her will be training her. Who comes up with these huge recipes and timings to create these batches of food? A lot of our recipes are really really old and are figured out already so that our amount is best fit for each community. And if there is somebody that brings a new recipe we just multiply the recipe and make it work and fit best for the number of people that we have in our community. Do mothers with children have to do community kitchen duty? Yes they do. If you have children or not, you still do kitchen duty. You still cook. Every mother has a dia. Dia means girl. They have a girl at home, aged 15 and older, that takes care and looks after the children while she is cooking. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Is that but it's good? Better than the previous one, okay? Austin smile.
weit rein gehen. Ich Hopefully the wind is not too loud. It is currently around 9.45 and Candice just left with the group kitties. She went back to the school to give them a little bit of a snack. It's just another two hours until lunch, so she's gonna be taking care of them. And I decided I'm gonna stick around and help pick because we need uh, 30 five gallon pails, which is a lot. The girls are scattered throughout, although we are fairly close, which is probably a good thing because today my grandpa spotted a cougar not too far from our colony so you know no I don't know how to feel about that there go my walks for a little bit anyways there is the odd time where we have a cougar in our valley but usually they just pass through but still you gotta be careful I can hear the girls so that is okay I know they're fairly close but still still it's a cougar What are we having for supper? Pork and oil. One frequently asked question that I get is what kind of devotional do I use? What is the book people see in every vlog? And it's this one. It's my daily devotional and it is The New Morning Mercies by Paul David Tripp. I absolutely love this because it does not sugarcoat things. It does not make things glorious and beautiful. It is blunt. It is to the point and it gets you to think. <laughs> Today was day two at group. This is what we call the summer school that we have with the girls. And I say day two because it's kind of day two. Day one was on Monday, of course, and then Tuesday we didn't have any because it was cold and dreary outside and there, we didn't have any garden work, so their mothers were home. Wednesday we did have group, but, which was yesterday, but I was only there for half of the morning. So today it was only my second full day. It is almost time for lunch. I thought I would just quickly update you. Um, they picked cucumbers today, a few string beans that we're just going to be using. We're not doing, we're not canning them or doing anything with them. We just picked them for meals. They picked the first tomatoes today and I missed it and I like picking tomatoes. After lunch, we are going to be gathering a few vegetables and then the rest of our day is going to be spent with the choked cherry juice. I totally forgot to tell you, but our men and our boys went or a few of them those that wanted to anyways went on a fishing trip this week and they are coming home today two of my brothers went hi hello ha huh? mm hmm okay mm hmm ha huh? Maybe all a of you. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe even all of them. What do you mean maybe? 
We're pretty far in. Technically, I'm not supposed to be in group, but I'm here to help. I really don't have to babysit, so I'm bored at home. I just came to group. I went for a bit of a ride, and now we're here picking corn as you can see. <laughs> we came this far. Now, we already did this. Now, these are old, and of course, this is a new pile. The old pile is down there. Kona, what do you think? Okay. So we just came here from the corn and now we're here onions. Organizing is a hard job. Sort of. I'd rather do this than pick. So we're good. You Once a year, our head cook likes to do a deep clean of our freezer in our kitchen. And I don't mean like fall cleaning, I just mean going through and organizing everything. So this is what we are doing at four. And this is why I am dressing myself as if it were minus 30 outside. I got my winter jacket. I just need gloves and maybe a scarf. My fiddly fig is sprouting two new leaves and I am so excited about this. I always keep forgetting to tell you, as, since we do a lot of cleaning on our knees, we use knee pads and they are the best thing ever. And I don't think I could do without them at this point. These are a must and they actually, they really, really help.